Suyu, and welcome to the Taste of Korea. I'm Mackenzie, and join us as we explore the unique culture and creation of Korean food in my home, New York City. Today we're at Ban Restaurant. Now, if you're new to the whole Korean experience like I am, this is a must visit. With its interactive smokeless tabletop barbecue, exciting celebrity chopstick box wall, and so much more, I can't wait. Let's experience the taste of Ban. Today we will make the bibimbap. 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 Okay. Bibimbap is actually the art of mixing something. <laughs> to make a bibimbap, actually, the easiest way is to have a this friend. This is a Korean mandolin. 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 Like the instrument? Yes. No, no, no. Okay. Do you want to try? Sure. <laughs> okay. Ah! See? You get to just slide it. Exactly. Ah! See how they become. We have a uh, green squash, other people call Italian zucchini. This is Korean daikon radish, a carrot, the spinach. Those look hot. We need a... Not really. Not really? Not really. All right. Let me tell you. <laughs> the, Korean, the Korean gochujang is not that spicy as people think. Put a little chopped green onion, and then you have a one sauce right there. You can use this for bibimbap. Many other people use for other kind of Korean snacks. You just can give a little taste. Okay. Here we go. Not too spicy at all. It's not really spicy. That's good. See? see we this put is it, regular bibimbap. This is a regular bibimbap. Okay. We put in lettuce on top of the rice. And then later, we are starting to cover up all the assorted vegetables. We give in the last touch. So here you have a one vegetarian baby pup. Mm. Wow, <laughs> that, is, that is really good. So this is a Korean traditional barbecue. This is the ribeye, the bone is chorri, ah. and then the shrimp. Here is what they call is ogoba. It's, it's a rice, but it goes with the five different grains. Very healthy rice. Okay. And this is the traditional steamed rice. This is a daikon, this is a cucumber, and this is a kimchi. Kimchi is a staple of the Korean cooking. I've actually had that. It's so unthinkable. <laughs> it's unthinkable to sit at the Korean table without having kimchi. Okay. okay. Let's Thank start you. with the revive, okay? So Should I get to grab? Yeah. Try it. It's very it's, it's really exciting. So as you see, our grill has a zero smoke. Yeah, there's nothing. It's nothing. fire but no smoke. Because <laughs> all the air goes into the bottom. So the revive actually always stay quickly. This is about half minute on each side. And I just kind of put a little bit cucumber. And then I'm gonna put a little piece of kimchi. Our kimchi is not really spicy, so don't spare, okay? Okay. So, we're gonna revive on there. Ooh. Have fun, and then you just wrap it up with your hands. And yes. Eat it. And then? Ah, you feed me. Much can you say, bon appetit. Mm -hmm. Enjoy, okay? Mm. How's it? Oh. If you were going out on a date, yeah. and you get a man to feed you for once, ah. Uh, Oh, I'm coming here. very frequently, yes. The food is incredibly fresh. It's uh, a little different than regular Korean cuisine. It's got a little twist to it. And uh, I love Korean food, so I'm, I come here frequently. I like pajun for appetizers. I like pajun, and I like their fried calamari. And uh, I like their chop jay. I love the traditional Korean cuisine, things like uh, kimchi jjigae, uh, they have a pork dish that's really wonderful, pork ribs. Uh, I love it all. It's all it's all good. Ah, I am stuffed. <laughs> and a happy customer, you know?
film. The atmosphere is authentic and modern and the food is sublime. So fresh, but I hope you wouldn't just take my word for it. Come to a band for yourself and experience the taste of Korea.